The gentleman from Georgia, Mr. Collins, recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I appreciate that. And then, Mr. Lonnie, I think inadvertently you may have summed up this entire discussion. From my perspective, and many in this room know this, I believe that copyright protections and other protections not only uh, at the proper balance strike innovation and help innovation, but also protect innovation and grow uh, apart. And you made a comment in the midst of an exchange when you said, it, it, and with uh, my gentleman from Pennsylvania, you said it's just a poet. And that struck me, and it may come strangely to others, just a poet, poets have changed the world. And their words mean something, and their copyright protections have mean something. And I think for me, I think that sums up this entire hearing, that there needs to be a proper balance struck. But when you just say it's just a poet, it's just a writer, was Hemingway just a writer? Was Dickens just a writer? Was Clancy, even Mew, just a writer? That's the heart of what we're talking about here today. And, and it was not me in any way, except you just sort of summed it up in, a, in an offhanded way. But I think that's really where we're at today. But I'm not with you. I'm down here with Mr. Malwood. I want to continue off of the discussion that my friend from California discussed. And that's the definition of law. And, and we do have an interesting comment here, because I am uh, from Georgia. And you have a, uh, let's just say a difference. And I, I appreciate all of what you do. I think what you do is, is really um, a service, a public service. I have a problem with where we're at right now, a little bit with what we're defining. And in your letter to, uh, to the S Senator McCoon, Speaker Ralston, and Pro Tem Schaefer in my state of Georgia, you said the official code of Georgia annotated, every component of it is the official law. I want to explore that a little bit. And I just have some short questions so we can get to a little bit more. Um, what is an annotation? Uh, an annotation can be anything from uh, some freelance editorial comment by, by some commercial provider to the, the um, comments by the Legislative Council or the state itself as to the import of, of, the, of the code. Thank you. Is an annotation a statute? Well, now, um, I'm really glad you asked that question because that actually comes to the crux of one of the problems that we face and why I, I think this committee might want to deal with this issue. Um, I, I'm just a computer guy. I'm a law school dropout. <laughs> um, I want to put all 50 state laws online. If you go to the official... And, and well, let's stop right there. Okay. I, I have no problem there. Sure. The law itself. I think the problem we're getting into is, is the definition. That's why I said, what is an annotation? And if you go to the free public website, it took three clicks to get there on the Georgia... Um, legislative page, of which I was a member for six years, all you got to do is go and you actually get the free Georgia Code annotated in which it says the annotated code is copyrighted, but it makes specific reference to say that the law or any other recognized by the law is not copyrighted. It's the work of the annotation which is more than the law. But, but, Congressman, the terms of use of that free site prohibit me from making a copy of that. They, it specifically prohibits all public and nonprofit. Well, what it prohibits you from doing is taking a book and copying it and turning it in as your own work. And when I was in school, that was called cheating or um, plagiarism so or however else you want to describe it. I, so, I mean, I think that, look, the questions are coming here. The annotation part is really where we're getting here. And you make a claim, and I've read your book here. And you made a comment that says that your states such as Georgia, Idaho, Mississippi, uh, with all due respect, Idaho and Mississippi, I'm not as concerned with them right now, have spread fear, uncertainty, and doubt sufficient to throw a deep chill on their ardor. And that makes great prose. And, and you're a good author, and if you were the, the part of this, then you should have it protected. Although this is, I, I actually... But if you put it out to everybody, that. that's your choice. <laughs> okay? But you're not, and frankly, I believe you're being disingenuous here. To throw a deep chill when you can go three steps and get it for free? I think the, the part that I'm concerned about here is really it's the bigger step of taking part of which we all recognize the law, okay? The statute, as, as the gentleman from California made, what we vote on, that code, that actual non-annotated, non-commented on. I mean, to say that an annotation is the law, would be about like taking this, commi in this committee memo and saying it is, it is part of the federal code. That's just not true. It's written by someone else. It's input by someone else. So the question really comes, for me, is the way that it was handled. It's just taking it off. It's already free. The issue is there. We've already discussed that. But there's a part that is kind of because it actually was the work of someone else. You're right. We need to make sure that copyright laws and as all these others have discussed and the, and the issues that need to be a proper balance. I just believe here in this issue, especially 
taking the state of Georgia and others and claiming that they're chilling innovation, they're chilling this, I think is over the top to make a point about something that is not really true. And that being that the law itself will not negotiate, that is part of the public record. But if I have somebody that if I've wrote my annotation and I've done the work, then we respect the work. We don't go out and say, well, I've got the book, let's copy it, send it up, just simply because I don't want to do the work of annotation. And I think that's the problem I have. And with that, we'll have many more conversations. I appreciate your work. I appreciate the rest of them being here. But I think that goes back to the heart of it here. If you do the work, the protection's there, not taking a shortcut because you just simply don't want to do the work. Mr. Chairman, I yield back. Thank you.